Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great teams. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. Mr. Untouchable. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times. Obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Too. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. What a punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you are battering that nose. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? He's 
very tricky when he throws that body kick. Remain in round one. Let's go, guys. Work. Just missing on the high kick there. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Switch, he lands to the body. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Big punch lands through the middle. What a body kick. Damage done, bleeding from his cheek now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. And there comes the separation now. Big head kick land. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Goes attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Good mark. First round winding down here. What a tricky head kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kick back to back is truly makes another target. Sight to behold. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Jump that round. You're all right. I'm gonna get back out there and put it on him now. It's a little payback time. Aggressive. They're confident. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, left hook to the head is blocked. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at the angle of that knife, I see. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh, no man. soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, man, hit to land. It was a good night if that landed. Nice kick. Got the single collar tie. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Oh, that's the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Look at the force behind that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Great punch landed with so much power. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Slips to avoid that left. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Caught that kick there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big kick lands. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Trying to kick the leg out. Punch is blocked. That's a big strike right there. Misses with that punch. Straight right. He misses. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. 20 seconds to go. Blocks the shot. All right, single collar tie now. Right here, punch the clinch. Just missed with the left there. Round three next. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. 
All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this he round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Nice strike. Take a head kick like this. That is such hustle to even be on the feet right now. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, big head kick land. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has. To be able to he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He got him bad! All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Back to the feet now. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Nice body kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Big kick lands. Just misses there with the left. What a punch. Liver kick. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big kick land. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Single collar tie now. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big power shot there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Real quick leg kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Sneaky head kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. And he caught the kick. 20 seconds left. Nice punch lands over the top. And they separate. Still 
not able to find that precise range with the high kick. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Nice punch land over the top. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. It's back and forth action here. How good is that right hand? Just a slip there. Outstanding knee to the body. Whoa! He's a oh. He's hurt bad. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Way with him here. Back to his feet. Big body kick. Oh! oh! He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if we can follow him. And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! <laughs> you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Now we go inside the octagon. Ladies Bruce Buffer with the, with the official decision. This contest at one minute, 56 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mr. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by now. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever.